Hi everybody, we're here at John Sadler's Auto Repair and we're doing a current ramp testing on an ignition coil on an E420 Mercedes and it's supposed to have a nice tapered line coming straight up or a taper coming up on the front and it's supposed to go straight down on the back line and as you can see as you watch it it's got a breakup in that front line What we have is the code P0306. We have a misfire on number six cylinder. And so the current ramp testing is a pretty good way of testing. Um, well, this coil hasn't filled all the way, but you can see how that, how that it breaks up on the, on the pattern going up on the front signal line. So we're just watching it for a while here. And you can see how the top starts to flatten off some. So this coil is just starting to fail. It's, it's enough to throw a check engine light. It's enough to get a little shake and misfire under load. So I want to show you how that was breaking down. Then if we go to the cylinder right in front of it. We go to number five cylinder. Maybe here. Let me set the camera down for a second. Okay, now we're looking at number five cylinder. And you can see there's no breakup in that pattern whatsoever. But that pattern's real stable. It stays the same. It's not breaking down whatsoever. Whereas you can see the coil right behind it, number six, where that front line right in the top was flattening off and it was starting to fail. So what we're using is a snap-on vantage, and then we're using uh, uh, a current ramp probe right on the wire, right around the wire. So that's where we can see the electronic signal of actually what's going on. And this is what's called dynamic testing because we're testing it under a load. So that's just a little tip from John Sadler's. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.